What is going on today guys? Welcome back, back in the shop. Today we are gonna be working on the 05. Finally, after, goodness, maybe even close to a year. Last year at KOS, uh, we popped a couple turbos. This thing has been sitting ever since. Uh, plans were to end up swapping uh, our Freedom Stage 3.7 in. Uh, we are actually going to hold off on that just a little bit. We've got some bigger plans for the truck, for that engine, so some things might get tweaked and changed. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep rocking on with the Street Stage 2 Freedom engine that's in here now. Um, we're just going to end up replacing the turbo. Shides Diesel Extravaganza is this weekend. Daytona Truck Me is right after that. So we need to get this thing running I want to get this thing driving uh, we're gonna deal with the wrap situation a little bit later uh, maybe possibly tomorrow who knows fingers crossed but today is gonna be all about resurrecting this thing getting this thing back up to life if you guys did not see the videos from way way back when this is all just this is all just turbo all just turbo it it basically exploded it went it went boom and then some like I didn't put that stuff in there this stuff is just literally laying inside there there's chunks of stuff everywhere down inside here so oop I just dropped it half the turbo wheel went down that way so we need to uh there it is I can see it down in there so we need to we need to clean up quite a bit here you guys can see I touched this thing for two seconds and I'm already oily what we're gonna do is we're going to start by popping this turbo off getting everything cleaned up we pro will probably have to pull the intercooler again make sure we get that completely cleaned out uh, before we go ahead and start this thing up looks like all of the pieces kind of went went this way instead of through there so I don't really think there's gonna be a whole lot of damage internally but we are gonna take care of that and make sure that there isn't blow all that out um, so a turbo swap some cleanup and charging up the battery as we speak we should be good to go let's hope so that's the plan for today that's what we're gonna get started working on Quick reminder up oh, um, we're already we're already giving away secrets here in the back a little little sneak peek of the new shop banner some of the new designs coming out Friday the 28th which is probably only in a day or two from now so a day or two from now Friday the 28th at noon Eastern time is the new Wrenchworks drop. I will give you one other hint. That's the roll cart, my baby, that we've built, that we love. If you scan over here, Oh, it looks like there possibly might be a duplicate of that. So anyway, you guys can use your imagination. Dropping this Friday the 28th. Make sure you guys stay tuned. There's going to be another video coming out explaining all the details on that, what you can do to possibly, I don't know, take that baby home. Who knows? How, who knows how loaded up that thing is, but uh, you'll find out here very, very shortly. Super excited. Also, number one priority on sh what, showing you guys some cool things. Guys, take a look at the smart car. Like, have you seen a cooler pit vehicle? New wheels and tires on the smart car? I mean, does your pit vehicle have air conditioning? Does it have air conditioning? That's, that's important in the, in, the, in the summer months. So anyway, let's stop rambling. Let's get to work. for sale, mint condition.
All right, here we are. We are torn down for the most part. Got all of the carnage set over here on the table. We've got the intercooler over here just kind of propped upside down. We're gonna bring this outside. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how we're gonna flush this thing out and clean it pretty thoroughly. Uh, but th this turbo explosion was probably by far uh, the craziest. You'll understand here after you see all of the carnage. So just look at this compressor housing. Look at the holes. I have never seen that, honestly. Like I'm sure, I'm sure other people have, but I mean, nothing on me personally has ever exploded anything uh, this good. This was, uh, this was a good one. Now there are a couple things that I want to go over with you that are are fairly important. So if you guys saw, once I took the center section off and then the uh, the exhaust housing was here, the uh, turbine wheel was still sitting inside of this. I wish you guys could actually feel the weight of just this piece right here. It's, it's fairly heavy. Now, a key important feature when you start racing your truck, and you guys probably have read the rules, it's big in sled pulling, is you can see the cross bolts. While they're not perfectly centered, I did it when the downpipe was on the truck. Anyway, don't give me, don't give me crap about that. Anyway, the cross bolts in that downpipe are what saves that wheel from literally traveling through your exhaust and up out the stack. We've done it before where we've blown a charger up just like this, kind of similar, and the turbine wheel, if the, if the front of the wheel goes bye-bye, there's nothing holding it, and it shoots back, and it will come out of your stack, or if you have a hood stack, it's even shorter distance. That will go up, and if this hits somebody in the head, that's not a good day. So again, cross bolts are a very important part of safety when you start really pushing your truck. Uh, don't ask me how I know, I know. There's, here's what's left of the front wheel minus some pieces. This is actually the front part of the shaft. So I'm pretty sure we can call somebody up and have this rebuilt. I don't, I, you know, I think that'll still be okay. That's a joke. I know somebody will take it too seriously, but this thing is just annihilated. <laughs> annihilated. Gone. So this turbo, it's going bye-bye. Moving on, what we're gonna be replacing it with is uh, a turbo that I kind of had laying around, which is actually what we ran on the truck for a very short amount of time before we switched to a 476. It is a fleece 472. I don't even think they actually make them anymore. But what's nice about this is it's already powder coated the same color as all of our other intake piping, seeing that we've already ran this charger before. Um, so we're just gonna stick this on here temporarily as a loaner. So it's a 472 8710 housing. Again, we'll get everything kind of cleaned up, shined up. I think Allie's truck came with a spare PTP turbo blanket uh, that we're gonna use on here as well. So I think what's gonna take the longest, number one, is flushing out the intercooler, which we're gonna get to next, and really just cleaning this thing up. Air is just oily, nasty mess everywhere. So we need to spend quite a bit of time cleaning this thing up. All right, welcome to the intercooler flushing station outside here. So what we've done is go inside, steal your girlfriend, wife's, mother's, uh, you know, Dawn dish soap, extra strength, cuts through grease, and just start filling her up. Now, obviously, uh, where it blew up is over here. We got the hose in the opposite direction, and what that's in hopes going to do is going to move water through the cooler. And what you'll be able to see is, I did shake this thing around, gave it a little bit of look. Hot water works great too. You can see it's kind of starting to clean up. We might try and get some things in there and scrub out. But what you'll see, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell on camera, any chips that are in there will actually kind of start working their way out. We're gonna let this run for quite a while. We got it on a little bit, little bit of an incline here. So it comes out. Get this thing cleaned up here. Two hours later. We are cleaned up and ready for reassembly. Just kind of had this thing sitting in here to drain just a little bit more. I actually had the best luck kind of shoving the hose, kind of exactly how the intercooler is standing right now, shoving it up in there with some pressure in it and kind of just flushing out everything there. Uh, but we are dried up, ready to go. 
Poor Frank the fork truck, I'm just leaning everything all over him. It's all right, he hasn't had his new paint job yet, so it's okay. So, uh, also went ahead and stuck my Milwaukee uh, little snake light up there just to kind of inspect inside the core there. I didn't see even any little pieces in there, so we should be, we should be good. But just to give you guys a little visual, this is, uh, I didn't even count all the tiny pieces, but this was all of the stuff that was inside of the intercooler. So if you do have a turbo failure, uh, make sure, make sure, make sure you flush out all the oil and uh, get all those pieces out of there. So I think we're, besides like an exterior cleanup, we're good to go. Inside the engine bay, we just got everything prepped up, ready to go. Got the valve cover back on, got the uh, valve cover breathers put back on. Uh, pretty much cleaned everything as good as possible as of right now. Also went ahead and swapped our exhaust manifold hardware. I had some fleece nice hardware so we went ahead and swapped to that got our egt pro back in so we are pretty much ready for reassembly in the engine a couple other things that i found as we were inspecting everything else obviously going to check all of the boots out went ahead and tried to clean this boot up and then we saw that little tear inside there which is not good so luckily we did have a replacement right here so we got a replacement boot on that went ahead and also got a new S400 uh, outlet ring right here. So got a new O-ring on that. Always important, make sure your boots and O-rings and all that are good. Swapped a straight fitting because this turbo had a 90 on it. Went ahead and swapped in the straight fitting. And besides all that, prep work, cleaning, got everything cleaned up. We are ready to reassemble this thing, get this thing back together. That's what we're gonna jump on. And then after that, we are I believe ready to fire this thing up, make sure we don't have any leaks, everything is running good. Um, and yeah, what we'll end up doing is leaving off, where is it, that intercooler boot right there to our uh, Banks Monster Ram here. We're gonna leave that off, let it run for a little bit. If anything does decide to wanna blow out a little bit of water, anything, that'll just kinda not go into the engine right away. We'll put that pipe on last. But yeah, we are ready to rock. Let's get this thing back together. I am excited to get this thing fired back up. It has been way, way, way too long. A sweet sweet sound that is man I am so pumped uh, fired right up had the battery charger on here for a good while but man cranked right up didn't even try uh, I think the camera definitely did not man I'm shaking I'm shaking I'm so excited uh, I don't think the camera was on for a lot of that reassembly I apologize I thought I hit the button but I do not think I did but anyway got like I said, got this intercooler piping side completely done, left that side undone. Definitely want to uh, high idle this thing, get this thing outside, get it warmed up, let it run for a little bit, uh, kind of let the battery recharge, do its own thing, kind of make sure everything is good. But fuel pressure looks good, rail pressure looks good. Everything seems like it's good. Uh, gonna try and make a break for the door. Gonna have to move Frank the fork truck out of the way. Hopefully we can sneak around Allie's truck. We might have to push that forward just a little bit, but I think this thing is about to see daylight for the first time in a long time. So, 
Hmm, man, that gold. That gold just looks so good. I have a hard time not doing every single truck the same exact powder coat color just because I love the way black and gold looks. But anyway, guys, we are there. Let's grab this stuff out of here and make a break for the door. Then you push it hard. is back in the shop. My goodness, I am so pumped. I am so excited to have this thing back. Ooh, get a little bit more work left to do. Um, I do have to put the other intercooler pipe in there, but everything sounds good. Everything looks like it is a-okay. Uh, makes me feel extremely good. Now, we're not gonna go out and set any kind of records, any type of personal best with this turbo on the truck, but eventually we'll get the big boy back on here. But for now, it looks good. Everything, ooh, mmm, man. She looks good, she sounds good. All right, so what we have left to do besides that intercooler pipe is, believe it or not, believe it or not, over here, a little sneak peek over there, woo, I can't show you too much. We're actually gonna put our fleece intake on. I know, I know we are going to put an intake back on this turbo, make sure she stays healthy. Um, and then also over here, got some AMS oil. We are going to make sure we change the oil on this thing. Got some AMS oil, nothing but the best going in this thing. And then, I think that's pretty much it. We gotta check over just a couple little things, but I think we're gonna be good. I think we'll be good. Mechanically, everything looks good. We're gonna make sure we check the trans fluid, <clears throat> top off if we need to there, and then otherwise, 
I think we're good, guys. I think we are good. I would actually go ahead and just swap wheels and tires right now tonight, uh, but it's got to go in the trailer. So trailer, we're, we are already on the trailer wheels to fit in the trailer. So anyway, guys, I think that's pretty much where I'm going to wrap up this video. Don't want to keep dragging on little odds and ends things, but it's kind of stuff that we need to do and get done before Shides, before Daytona. Make sure you guys are coming out. So Shides will be in the pits. Uh, so you're gonna have to come find us in the pit area. Uh, shouldn't be too bad. I have no idea how the layout is uh, here because it's at Waggler's. Um, and it's the first year that Shides is actually at Waggler's. So come find us in the drag racing pits. And then Daytona, we are sharing a booth with Fleece. So we will be with Fleece wherever Fleece is. I'm not sure how it's gonna look on the map, whether our name is gonna be there or not. Come find Fleece, come find us. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Friday the 28th, don't forget the Wrenchworks drop. I'll give you one, one more little sneak peek. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh boy. All right, don't, don't miss out on Friday the 28th. Uh, the first week, uh, we are going to be doing a massive, massive giveaway. We got a big month-long giveaway and then the first week, so make sure you guys get your orders in the first week. We're also gonna be giving away a full air dog system that whole entire, that, that just that, just that week. Anyway, I'm rambling, talking very fast. I'm excited, this is what happens when I get excited. I talk very fast. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Keep these videos rolling. See you guys soon, bye. I know you guys wanna see a little close-up action of the smart car. I mean, I know, I, I know, I know everyone likes to hate on the smart car, but come on. Big difference what a little, little wheel action will do on there. Staggered, by the way. We got 17 by eights in the back, I believe. 17 by six and a half in the front. Because she is, she is a rear wheel drive beast. Mm. I mean, for a pit vehicle? That's a good looking pit vehicle. Who knows? We, we, we might even have to start messing with headlights, taillights. I mean, she's a beast.